We want to turn to Capitol Hill. Vice President Mike Pence stepping up his attack on House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi for calling the $1,000 tax cut bonuses crumbs. Listen. Anyone who says $1,000 in the pockets of working families is crumbs is out of touch with the American people and should never lead the People's Congress again. Yeah, but this came after the top Democrat predicted her party will flip the House, and she announced that she will run for Speaker of the House after the midterms in an interview yesterday with the Boston Globe. Despite growing calls from within her own party to move on, Pelosi says she is still headed for the gavel. Joining us now to weigh in is former Chief of Staff under President Bill Clinton and McClarty Associates Chairman Mac McClarty. Mac, it's good to see you. Maria, always good to be with you. So, you know, there is some talk that she may not have the votes, that people from within her party are saying, don't run for speaker. We need to see some fresh blood. What do you say? It's still an open race. It's a, it's a few weeks to go for sure. Uh, she's putting down a marker. Uh, Leader Pelosi's putting down a marker saying, I'm running and I'm going to win this and we're going to win the House. I think from a political standpoint, it's the right move for her to make. It's the right move for her to make. But what about the Democrats even winning in November? <laughs> that, that expectation was much higher than it is today. I mean, after you saw the impact of the tax plan, the rollback in regulations, what's your sense of what happens in November? Well, a, a week in politics is a lifetime, number That's one. That's true. Good it's point. A, Good it's point. a long time to the yeah. midterms. Um, uh, so I think uh, turnout's going to be key in the midterms. That's always a challenge. So, you know, don't, don't count your money at the table. Uh, it's, it's still a way to go. I, but I do think, Maria, uh, we'll, we'll see some ups and downs. We've got this big summit coming up, if, assuming it takes place, and I think it likely will on North Korea. You'll have events that will affect that That's midterm true. for sure. The economy is going to be a, a big factor, as it always is. So it's just a while to go. But I think the wind is at the back of the Democrats, and history also with an off-term uh, uh, election. Usually the president in power loses seats. But don't you think that the Democrats are really lacking a message or a story beyond resist? And we know in science, in behavioral science, it shows that when people have a resist message or a fear-based mm -hmm. message, they're more likely to be crippled than they are to go out and act. And so do you see a Democrat message that's going to come out and say, this is what we're going to do for you that people can rally behind? You've noticed the message is not as sharp as it should be. Yes. <laughs> that you're exactly right. I, I, can, I agree with you, both in terms of the message, but more importantly, just to be against the president, resistance, that's not enough. That's the, Demo right. the Democrats, in my judgment, are going to have to develop a positive message that lifts the country, and it's got to have some specifics in it. It can contrast to the president's policies. That's it fine. Should. That's fine. But it can't be just. Uh, resistance. That won't, I don't think that'll win the day. But yeah. Mac, I'll share a conversation I was having with Lee in the green room about mm -hmm. resist. Yes. And this is what you get uh, even underneath all of the, pol the Democratic politicians in Washington. It's literally if you support Trump, if you supported Trump, if you say anything positive about President Trump, then you basically are part and parcel uh, agree with everything he's done in his lifetime, anything that he's ever said in his mm -hmm. lifetime. It's just, again, it's the basket of deplorables, which Hillary Clinton has tried to walk walk, walk away from that comment, right. saying that, remember, she had the flu or whatever, she was sick that night, and kind of uh, Barbara Streisand used that, used that line. But again, she meant it, that if you support Trump in any way, shape, or form, you're pathetic and you're an evil person. And I think that that could hurt them because that is certainly still the undercurrent among many people in this country. It's a balance to walk on the Democratic side and the Republican side regarding the president. It's, it's, a, it's a careful balance to walk. Uh, you make a fair point. Connor Lamb's recent election in, in Pennsylvania suggests someone walking right down the center, at least in certain congressional districts, that's the most likely pathway to win. Mm -hmm. I do think it's fair, however, Dagan, to say that uh, some of the opposition, the negative feeling about the president, whether it be personally or policy-wise, will energize some of the Democratic base in these elections. We've already seen that. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's kind of the, the other side of it. But I think you've got to have more than just we're against the president and against what he stands for. So what I do you think, think they do stand for right now? What do, you, what do you think? Is there a message that you see formulating? Well, I would hope that there would be some talk of governing, getting things done for the American people. <laughs> right. And seriously, that's... A, we haven't post. heard it though, right, Mac? Well, we haven't yet. We haven't yet, and we haven't seen it yet either, Maria. That's uh, the But we know concern. that there's been a lot of stonewalling and there's been a lot of slow walking in terms of, uh, you know, getting people confirmed in this president's uh, administration. 
We've seen that in both sides over time with the other party in power. Nothing like this. Oh, I don't know about what that. Do you, what do you, you mean? I'm not curious a, how you think about that because I was just having a conversation with someone saying that that I think this is the worst it's ever been. And they said, "Well, do you remember how bad it was under Clinton?" That that's my point. It's all kind of where you sit at the table. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I think it started there. I think partisanship has gotten. Well, do you think it impacted? I just, I just want to yeah. make one point real quick. Because I'm trying to talk uh, fast, uh, Megan. Go ahead. Yeah, which Southerners are yeah. horrible. <laughs> I know we've been at that. A long time. Yeah. We don't know how to get get to the point. One thing, real quick thing: Kellyanne Conway, when she yeah. took over the president's campaign in 2016, she sat in this very studio and said, "You know what? The premium increases are released right before people go to the polls. People are going to find out how much their health insurance premiums go up. The same thing's going to happen this fall. And there's nothing really that's been done that's going to reduce those premium increases mm -hmm. for health insurance and really fix the problems with Obamacare. That could be a big well, and they're already Sorry, I, that they're going to increase. Kevin, I, I know you want to get it, but Maria, I think that goes to your point. I think what people are looking for are, are how are you going to govern on issues that affect my life? Right. That's I think right. that's exactly, exactly what well, that's, well, right. that's what I was going to ask you is yep. because when we saw the tax plans come through, we didn't see the Democrats supporting. So how will that impact them in the 2018 elections mm -hmm. by not supporting? Well, I think plan. you've seen Vice President Pence already starting to make that case. The only point about the tax uh, cuts or uh, plan that I have spoken out, I am concerned about the deficit increasing. Yeah. I think that's a real issue. I think Democrats should talk about it. Uh, but I think they're going to have to talk about job creation and, again, what's going to lift people's lives, make them better. You're That's the key right. issue. We'll see. We'll see yep. if they can, we can, they get there. Mac, it's great to see you. Maria, always good Thank to be you with so you. Thank you so much. Mac McClarty there.